In this tutorial, I will show you how you can completely customize the colors of your Buddy Boss app to give your app a totally unique branding style. We have other tutorials showing you how to customize the images and app icons, and you can also add your own fonts to completely customize the typography. In this video, we will be focusing on your app's color scheme. Okay, let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how it works. Here we are in the WordPress admin at Buddy Boss app branding colors. And on the left are eight sections for configuring colors within your app. This app preview on the right shows how these color schemes will look in both an iPhone and on Android. Let's start with this general section. These are the main colors you will see used throughout the app interface. So we can see we have four sections, background color, alternate background color, border color, and accent color. Over here on the right, we have an example of an app page just to give you a representative preview of what these colors might look like. So we can see the background color is being applied white and this alternate background color is being used in this quick links block. And I can look at some other previews. This is of a directory page, for example, your courses directory or the members directory. And we can see the background colors and the accent color and the border colors. And then we also have a menu page. So this would include the more screen, the menus at the bottom of a profile or a group, and some other areas. So you can see here that on the more screen, the alternate background color is taking over as the background, and this background color is taking over for the background color of the menu area. And these general colors are really used throughout the app. So let's go ahead and start making some edits. I'm gonna go back to our app page, and I'm gonna set the background color to this color just so you can see what it looks like when it's not white. We have this nice light brown color. And then let's change our alternate background color. I went with a similar color, just a little bit darker. I think that looks nice as these two colors are often complementing each other with one layered on top of the other. If I come back to this page, you can see that they're inverted. So these are both background colors, but which one is applied to the foreground layer versus the background layer just depends on where you are in the app. And then we'll change this border color. You can see, again, I'm going with a similar color, just a bit darker than both, so it always appears. We can see the border being applied. And then let's change this accent color. I'll just make it this bright blue, which I think looks nice within this color scheme. So you can see the accent colors being used in these number bubbles that you see in our filters and in the number bubbles in our menu areas and in these see all links that you see in blocks. It's also used as an accent in a bunch of other small areas within the app. And you may have noticed this reset all to default button. If at any time you want to just start over, you can click this and it will reset all the colors back to their default values. You can also open up any one of these and if you click clear, it will reset it as well, just for that one item. Next, let's move into our navigation bar. This navigation bar appears at the top of most app pages including your home page and all the directories. You'll also notice that the background here is this light brown from here. That's because these colors are being shared between the different sections to make everything as accurate as possible. First, let's change our navigation bar background color. I'm going with this nice purple color. I think it looks nice. It also lets you see what the app is like with the darker navigation background. And then with this dark background here, we'll want a lighter text color probably. So I'll make that one white. And then let's change this navigation bar link color. I'll make it this bright pink color, which complements the purple. Now we can move into tab bar and more screen. The tab bar is this row of tabs that shows at the bottom of the app. And the more screen is an additional list of menus that appears when you tap this more tab. Let's go ahead and change the tab bar background color. And then here we can change the icon default. I'll go with this color. This sets the default icon color in both the tab bar and the more screen. Note that you can go into Buddy Boss app branding tab bar. And from there, you can actually override the color of all of these icons individually, which is especially useful when setting up the more screen. I have another tutorial all about how to set up your tab bar and more screen menus. And there's also another video about how to upload your own custom icons. So make sure to check those out. Then let's change our icon active. I'll go with this nice bright red. 
This is the color in the tab bar that appears when an icon is in its active state, meaning it's the currently selected tab. It does not appear in the more screen because when you tap a menu in the more screen, it will just slide into a new menu. So it's never showing as active in there. Okay, I think that looks nice. Now let's move into buttons. So you can see that we have two main button styles used throughout the app. There's a primary button and a secondary button. You'll see these buttons used in a variety of places. So let's change the primary button color. I'll make it this bright red and I'll leave the text white on red. And then for the secondary button color, I'll make the color of the text the same red. And we'll change the button background color for the secondary button. Pink tan, that looks nice here. And then we can move into text colors. You can see a representation of the different types of text you'll find within the app. So the first one is a heading text color. You'll see this in block headings and headings and other components throughout the app. And then the body text color, I'm just going to make it the same as the heading text. And the body text is used for general content throughout the app. For example, blog post content and a lot of other content. Then we have the description text color. I'll make it just a bit lighter. This is used for kind of secondary helper text throughout the app. And then we can apply our meta text color. I'll use this. You can see this is used for things like two days ago, three discussions, a few hours ago, these kinds of things. And I think this fits with our color scheme and looks nice. And then let's move into login and sign up screens. This section is for controlling the colors of the login screen and also sign up related screens, such as the create account screen and the forgot password screen. I'll change this background color to actually the same color that we're using in the navigation bar. But you'll notice that it's not being applied. And actually what we're seeing is this gradient color. This is coming from a background image that I uploaded earlier. If you are using a background image, it will show instead of the color. So let's go ahead and remove this background image so we can see what it will look like with the color. So I'll go over here into branding images. So this area is for uploading our own custom images and icons. And even in here, our colors that we applied before are being shared to give you a nice accurate representation. Let's go into login screen settings. And here we can see the background color that we added. So I'm going to remove it. And now our purple shows. I'll save that. And then we'll come back into colors. And now we can edit the rest of these. So now that I have a darker background color, I'll make all of this text white. And then this input background color, you can see that it's set to black with some level of opacity over it. You can also set it to white and drop the opacity as well, whichever one you think looks nicer. And it also can depend on if you have a background image. For this one, I'll make it black and bring down the opacity. I think that looks pretty nice. The input text color is this text in here, which I could change, but I'll leave it as white because I think that looks nice in this color scheme. And then we can customize the button color. So currently it's blue. I'll make it this bright orange that will look nice with our Buddy Boss logo. And then the button text color is this text here. I'll leave it as is. And note that up here we can see a couple of other previews, for example, the registration screen or the forgot password screen. And you can see that all of our color settings are applying here as well. And if I come back here, I should mention that you can change this text. If I go into translations and search for sign in, you can see I've translated this text to sign in to Buddy Boss. By default, it will just say sign in over here. Okay, let's move on to Android status bar. So we can see here that the preview is only for Android. On iOS, you do not change this color. Whatever is the color at the top of the app will automatically bleed in to the top of the phone. But on Android, a status bar will always be there with one color throughout the app. So what I'm going to do is copy this navigation bar color and I'll use it here as well. Just because I know on a lot of pages, the navigation bar will be at the top. And so if they're the same color, you won't notice this as much, but you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. And then let's move on to courses. This one will only appear if you have LearnDash activated. 
And in here we can customize the label colors that we see on the courses. So I'll just change the completed one. And in progress, start course and free and not enrolled. So these colors are just kind of a random selection so you can see that the colors changed. In your own app, you might wanna change these to match the color scheme that you're going for. The goal and the way that we designed this was to give you enough options that you can really customize the colors and get a really great result without overwhelming you or confusing you. And I think you'll see that you can do a lot of changes here and really customize the look and feel of the app. All right, let's go ahead and click on Save Changes. Now let's go check out the app so we can see how our color scheme looks in a real device. First, I'll show the main color scheme on an iPhone, and then we'll go check out the Android status bar on a real Android device. First, let's hard quit the app. And we start here on our login screen. We can see that our custom colors are showing for the background area, the text colors, the inputs, and the button. And it looks really great. If I tap on sign up, we can see our colors have all been applied here to the inputs and the button in the background as well. And I can tap on forgot password and the color scheme shows here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and log in. And now we can see that our tab bar at the bottom of the app has all our colors added and it has the bright red color to represent the currently selected tab. And the navigation bar at the top is using our purple color with our white text. And we can also see that our background color and text colors have been applied to the page, along with the border colors. And the see all text is using the bright blue accent color that we added. I can scroll down and we see that for courses, the course labels are using the colors that we added. And I'll scroll down further and my quick links block is using the alternate background color. And it looks great. Let's check out the newsfeed. We can see the link color for our navigation bar. The bright pink has been added. And our accent color is being used in our filters. If I tap these dots to open up a modal, we can see our two layers of background color and alternate background color are being applied into the modal. Let's go to members. Again, the accent color being used in the number bubbles. And for this search bar, even though we didn't set a custom color to it, it still fits in perfectly. In a lot of places in the app, we're using layers of transparency so that various elements throughout the app adopt the background color of their layer. And of course, our modals all look nice. And the advanced search gets the colors applied as well. Let's go over to our more screen and I'll view my profile. And of course, it looks great. We can see our background color and our alternate background color and our accent color for the number bubbles. And then the pink link color for the navigation bar is still showing in this back arrow. Let's go into my courses. And again, we can see the accent color being used and we can see our custom course label color looking nice. Let's go back. Let's view my notifications. And here we can see our button styles. This is the primary button and the secondary button. And now let's jump into Android so I can show you the Android status bar. So here we are in Android and we can see that the status bar is the same color as our navigation bar. So the two blend together in a pretty seamless fashion. If I had set the status bar to red, for example, you would see a red bar at the top and then the purple. As you can see, the Buddy Boss app is incredibly flexible in terms of its color scheme. We've taken care to make sure it looks great no matter what colors you select. And you can customize it even further. Check out our other videos to learn how to add your own custom icons into the tab bar and more screen, and how to add your own branding images and custom fonts. And later in the year, we'll be adding support for dark mode so that your app can automatically switch to a darker interface when used at night. We can't wait to see the beautiful color schemes you come up with when customizing your own Buddy Boss app.